Hey everyone, this is Tara. <laughs> I couldn't tell if I was recording. Anyway, moving on. Uh, welcome. Today we're going to talk about all of my knitting tools that I've acquired since November 2019. So since I'm a fairly new lifestyle knitter, um, these are the things that I've picked up, things that I've decided were worth spending a little bit more money on, um, things that I've repurposed for my knitting. Before we jump in, I'm going to tell you that I'm wearing, what am I wearing? <laughs> oh, jeez. This is Woolen Honey, designed by Andrea Mowry. This is knit in Rowan Classic Alpaca. Alpaca Classic? Alpaca Classic DK. I can never remember which order those words go in. But anyway, and this is in like the satin color, I believe. This to me is like my ultimate perfect ballerina pink. So like in my dream world, my style aesthetic would be art teacher slash ballerina. <laughs> That's just what it is. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go through tools. I'm gonna talk about needles, notions, things that I use to kind of organize everything. Anyway, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna start with not this, not this yarn, <laughs> this old hand-me-down yarn that I inherited, but the needles inside, these are the very first needles I ever, ever purchased. Oh, geez, okay. So these needles, I'm not gonna take them out because in here is just a few rows of garter stitch that I sit down and do with my daughter whenever she wants to do her yarn um she sits on my lap and we do a, a couple of stitches together so i don't want to take it out but these were the very first needles that i ever bought this is what i knit my niece's blanket with and then also in this vase so we got this vase as a wedding gift and it just so happens to be perfect to store straight needles that I never use. I use straight needles for my niece's blanket and for my son's garter blanket and I haven't touched them since. But some of these I've purchased and some of these were hand-me-downs and I like, I really like the worn cardboard paper packaging that's on these. And this set of wooden needles comes with this really pretty embossed where it focuses. Hey, I'm getting this. Um, I'm not sure what it's made out of. It's probably vinyl, let's be honest. Um, most of these are metal. Metal is my preferred knitting thing. And then this is a wooden tool to use if you're making stuffies. Or in our house, we call them snuggles. So anyway, so those are straight needles. Those are purely for decoration. Let's just be honest, okay? So for the needles that I use all the time, I keep them in my Knit Picks case. I really like this. Um, so if I unzip it, oh dear. Okay, so I have some needle, interchangeable needles on a cable ready for a project. But what I have, oh dear. So this is the problem with this case that I was going to mention. The needles fall out. The needles fall out of the case. And I sometimes forget that. I'll put these back later. So anyway, in this front pocket here is where I have all of my cables and stoppers and extra keys to open it. And what I've done on this zipper is here's the key to change out my interchangeables. I keep that key. What it is, is it's a progress keeper that is attached to the zipper. You can't really see because my, <laughs> my thumb, my fingers are in the way, but the, it's a, oh dear Lord. 
it's a progress keeper and then here's the key attached so I never lose the key it's always there and then I have my set of interchangeable needles and these are from Knit Picks. This was when I realized how much I enjoyed knitting and that I wanted to do it constantly and all the time I decided that it was best for me to spend my money on an interchangeable set and so this is just a wooden set from Knit Picks. Um, I don't remember what style or anything like that. I feel like needles are so personal. Um, some people only use metal. Some people only use wood. Some people can't stand this kind or that kind or whatever. Um, but I have really, really, really enjoyed these. Depending on the yarn and the project, sometimes I find metal needles too slippery. And I, it might just be that I knit with these more consistently over a period of time that I'm used to these wooden sets. Um, but I do have, um, I do have metal sets. If I flip this over, I don't, I have some packages of needles that are empty right now because I'm using them in projects, but I have the Chiagu Red Lace. I have several of these. I really like this for small, fine projects. My interchangeable set is only size four to 11. So if I want to go smaller than a size four needle, I needed some more. So like here's an Addy Rocket, I think. Yes, an Addy Rocket in size two. This was a Chiago Red Lace and this is in a three. But I also have, this is, I don't remember the brand. I, I don't remember the brand. I'm so sorry. But I think you can change the tips and I don't, I don't know. But these are also size three and they fit my interchangeables. I just don't remember at this point in time where I kept them. So then in the back of my case, this is the back pocket, is where I keep my fixed circulars in those smaller sizes. And I just keep them in their packaging because most of them are the Chiago Red Lace but they say on the package what size they are and to me to put them back in the packaging when I'm done and then put it away until I need it again works best for me. I know that does not work best for everybody. I understand that. Um, but that is what works best for me and so that is what I do. And I'm gonna have to clean up that mess later. Um, and so with my needle case, which I like in this brown, they have all different colors though, if you're looking for different colors, but I feel like this brown will always work for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, I also have from Katrinkles, she has awesome knitting accessories, um, but I particularly like her little wooden accessories here. So I have one about yard or yarn weight, which I think is a cluster because I think it's just use whatever yarn you want and make it work is kind of what I've come down to um, and then a needle gauge and also kind of a cheat sheet for what different um, so this says knit gauge swatch key so it'll tell you the yarn weight, the stitches per inch, um, the knitting needle size in US and in millimeters. So I use these all, I use these all the time, which is why I connected them to my uh, needles instead of putting them with my other notions. Jumping in to notions, um, I have, this is how I wind my yarn. I don't have a swift, I don't have a ball winder. I don't know, maybe one day that I will get one, probably. I'll probably have a day where I'm like, you know what, I really would like one of those things. Um, but for right now, I just wind all of my yarn by hand. I understand that this looks odd and I don't even know what my husband was thinking when he saw this. Um, I ordered this off of Knit Picks. It was fairly cheap, it's plastic. Um, you can open it inside and you could store things in it. I never have because why would I? I don't know what I would store in it. But this is really handy. Before I would just wrap it around my thumb and then I don't know. But I really enjoy this. 
Okay, other notions. So in this bag that says stuff and things, this is from Target. And I used to keep some teaching stuff in here, but now that I don't teach, I keep my knitting stuff. So everything that's in the stuff and things pouch are my, with me always, everywhere I go if I'm knitting things. And I honestly, I probably need to clean it out, okay? If I'm being honest. But whose notions pouch doesn't need to be cleaned out, okay? So let me just empty it out really quick. And then as I put things back inside, I will show you what we are working with. And I'm gonna try and do this fairly timely um, so that we get the most bang for our buck. I do have a pencil and a small notebook. Yes, Abby. She wants, she wants a snack. Um, and so in here, I keep different notes about different things. It comes in handy. Then I have, let me make sure I get everything. These are my favorite stitch markers. These are probably my ultimate favorite stitch markers. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can find these just about anywhere. But they're the open clip. They're like an open safety pin and they're colored. And I do use the colors to symbolize different parts of my pattern. Keeps it really handy. I might use green for the beginning of the round and then I might use pink for sections in the pattern, like a panel, like a cable panel. So those are cable ones. And then in my Knit Picks little stitch tin, stitch marker tin, is where I have, I have metal. That doesn't really show up very well, but I have metal um, stitch markers that are kind of the same. I have progress keepers, which I'll be honest, I don't really use progress keepers. Because in my head, I'm thinking, why would I need a progress keeper if I can just put a stitch marker and do the same thing? Anyway, the older I get, the more I want to like have no extra fluff around. But anyway, I have them, so I keep them. Um, and since I have those stitch markers, I don't buy stitch markers. I don't make stitch markers. I kind of just use what I have. What a novel idea. Let us use what we have. Hmm. Okay. And then I have my tape measure. This is also from Knit Picks and it's yellow, which is my favorite color. So I have that. I have a drill pattern. Uh, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. I'm gonna put that in a different place actually. I have washi tape. If I'm using a pattern and it's in a plastic project, oh my God, words. If, I, if I'm working on a project that is in hard copy and I put it in a sleeve protector, then I like to use washi tape to delineate where I am. And this is the tape that I already had. So it's the tape I'm using. It says, go team. Uh, then I have different kinds of scissors. I have this pair of little nips um, that aren't closed all the way, that's scary. Uh, I wouldn't recommend these. I bought a pair of pinking shears for sewing and this came with it. And these kinds of shears, I also have another pair that I'm gonna show you here in a second in a different bin. Um, they suck, just saying. I wouldn't recommend it. Sorry, that was I should just say, I don't care for them. Um, but these are the snips that I use. These are awesome. Um, it says loops and thread. I think I just bought those at the craft store. Most of everything either came from Knit Picks or the craft store. Just saying. Um, I keep one bent tip 
needle to sew in ends. And that's my bigger needle. I also have a smaller bent tip needle in this one for finer yarn. And I have a few crochet hooks in here. Um, in fact, I could probably put one of these away because I think these two are the same size. So I can put that one away, but I'll probably keep these two in there. These were actually my grandmother's. So they stay with me. And because since I knit a lot of sweaters and garments, I, you always have to have scrap yarn for stuff. And so I have a few, um, a few scrap yarns. I uh, decided to make them into Hanks. <laughs> and actually it's not that bad of an idea. It works rather well. So those are all the things things I keep in my notions bag handy dandy right next to me at all times. Then I also have this sewing case, the sewing basket. Um, I got, it has a pin cushion top. I look, sorry, I got distracted. Ooh, shiny. Um, I got this at Joanne's when I was back home. And so inside here, let me get everything out really quick. Um, and really quick, I have, I have a mess is what I have. This is, okay. So I'm going to put my stitch counter in there. I have directions for how to use my clover pom-poms. My clover pom-poms are actually kept in another bin elsewhere. I have more backup washi tape. Um, here's a small clover pom-pom maker if you haven't seen it. Uh, this is a lifesaver. So glad that I bought them in mini sizes. I have um, needle stoppers. Uh, I wouldn't recommend these either because they fall off. They were good for the first few projects and now they won't stay on my needles and I just said forget it. Um, I also keep buttons. This is just a wooden button. You can get this at any craft store. Um, so yeah, I have buttons in there, sticky notes, but just a few, not a whole lot because, you know, space. <laughs> this is like a New York apartment in here. You have to be very purposeful and meaningful how you use your space. I also have this, um, tape measure. I couldn't think of what it's called. Um, so I have the yellow one. I have the yellow one in here and then this is another one in case I lose one or I'm working on two separate things in two different areas then I like to have I do like to have a backup I have the directions for my ball winder <laughs> in case I couldn't figure it out on my own uh, more wooden buttons that you you can buy anywhere at any time um, more stitch markers. This has some rubber ones. I don't use these really that much at all, which is why they're kept in my sewing basket. It's just an, if it's an emergency. And then in here, I do keep my progress keeper from Forest Charm that I won in the Gabriella Makes giveaway. So that was exciting. I did the um, Gabriella Makes cow, and I made a Simone pullover, and it's beautiful, and I love it, and I won. I won a giveaway, so I got some of her yarn, and then I also got this really pretty progress keeper. But like I said, I don't really use progress keepers all that much, but I love things that are handmade, artisan, handcrafted, all that kind of stuff, and so I keep it in its pretty pouch and it always lays on top. Nice and protected on top. I close the lid, put it away. Okay, uh, when it comes to crochet, I have this plastic case where I keep my hooks. It is bulky and takes up space, but here I have all of my hooks and I've had those for ages. I have my cabling needle, I have all of my other bit tip needles, the snips that suck, 
and I also have some straight needles and some smaller needles and a pin and then down below I have some regular safety pins another measuring tape but this is like old school which is why I keep it in here because I want the retractable Moving on, I have a magnet board. So if I want to put a pattern on here and then keep track of where I'm going, I have this. This is my grandmother's, so I'll never get rid of this. Okay, we're almost done. We're at the very, very end. I have my favorite soap. And by favorite, I mean it's the only soap I've used. I have soap and lacy, so all I do is I throw my knits in my bathroom sink. I make sure my sink's really, really clean, ready to go. This is the soap I use. And then I just lay my sweaters flat to dry. I don't have blocking mats. I don't have pins. I don't have any of the blocking tools that people use. I, right now, in this stage of my knitting career, I prefer to make something, lay it nice and flat, and let it dry how it wants to dry. I don't want to block it into submission. So that's my own personal opinion. Um, I also have a can. What was in this can? Spaghetti sauce. What's in this pan now? Can now? Pan. Patterns. It's the name of patterns. So if I don't know what I want to make, then I reach into the can of patterns and I pull out a few and then try to make a choice from that if I'm feeling stuck. Uh, if I need to keep some notes, I have this notebook and I apparently am narcissistic enough to get my face on it, but I did that as a look what you can do kind of a thing. It says, you got this, and it's called Knit Notes. And in here, like I have my accountability system that I'm starting to use and I have a couple of notes in the back um, so that I can kind of keep it all in one place. I bought a knitting planner, like a knitter's planner, and it was beautiful and I really liked it, but I am not, I'm not a planner kind of girl. I'm more of a give me the whole month calendar and jot down things in little bitty squares and we're gonna call it good. <laughs> Um, and then last thing is if I'm making a gift knit, I will put it in a bag like this. And so here's the gift knit. This is a baby hat. And I don't write on the bag. I write on a piece of paper and slick it, slick it. I slip it in the bag with just details about the project. And then when I decide to give it, I can write on a nice, nicer card how they can care for the project but i like this idea because i can always reuse the bag once i give the gift and you know after time passes you don't remember what it is that you made or what size it was and so that's the way i keep track so i'm gonna go play with my son right now because he's ready to go play and those are all my tools Eventually, I'm sure I'll get different tools. Um, where I feel like the best, um, I don't want to say splurge, but the best investment is in needles. That's where I've chosen to invest my money, is mostly in good needles. So. Everything else is just kind of what I've managed to pick up or get handed down <laughs> or reuse. So what kind of tools do you like? What do you think is like your number one favorite tool? Oh my gosh, everyone should have this in their collection. Or what is a tool that you bought and you're like, oh, what a waste of money. I should have never bought this. Or what's your most clever repurpose? These are all questions that I want to ask you.
if you were sitting here with me right now? I want to know. So tell me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming to hang out.